All right, friends, today's the first day of our throwing and catching unit. Everybody say yes. 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 Throwing and catching is one of my favorite things to teach because it is such an important skill that you need to learn for tons of different activities and tons of different sports. Can anybody raise their hand if they can think of a sport or a game or an activity where you use a throw or a catch? What do you think, Emma Grace? Uh, uh, basketball. Basketball, passing that ball is kind of like a throw. You're definitely catching it when your partner passes it to you. Trip? Baseball. Baseball or softball. You gotta know how to throw it to the batters and then when they hit the ball, you gotta know how to catch it and then throw it to the people that are guarding the bases. Steven? Um, volleyball. Volleyball, you gotta toss it up when you do a serve. Okay, Braley? Football. Football, quarterback's throwing that ball and then the receivers better be ready to catch it. Okay, so if you don't know how to throw and catch, are you gonna be able to play any of those sports? No. No, we could keep on going because almost every single sport, it involves some kind of throwing and catching, okay? So it's a very important skill for you to learn if you want to do different activities that are a lot of fun to keep your body healthy. When you are doing your throwing and catching today, we're going to be working on this kind of throw. This is called an underhand throw, the guy in the red shirt. Next week, we'll talk about doing this overhand throw. That's if you want to throw it really far. Today, we're just going to work on our underhand throw. Please put your eyes and ears on me. Please put your eyes and ears on me. When you do an underhand throw, you're going to be facing towards your target. Your arm is going to look like a lowercase l, like a straight line. And you're going to remember three words. Everybody say swing, swing step, step, throw. throw. Swing, step, Everybody throw. say swing, swing step, step, throw. throw. Now, can anybody remember from kindergarten last year, what foot do I always want to step with? Raise your hand if you know what foot I always want to step with. Right. Caroline? Opposite. Say it again, Caroline. Give Caroline a thumbs up. Everybody say, nice job. nice job. Thank you for remembering that from last year. I'm so glad you remembered that. You're going to do a swing step with your opposite foot and throw. So if you throw with this hand, that means you're always going to step with the other side of your body. Opposite means the other side. So if I'm stepping with the same side, is that the right foot to step with? No. No. Everybody say, opposite foot. Opposite foot. If you throw with your other hand, same thing, opposite foot. You just have to remember to step with the other side of your body. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, when you're catching the ball today, I want you to remember to do a reach, a grab, and a give. Everybody say reach, reach grab, 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 give. Give. give just means bring it into your body. So right here you have two pictures that will kind of show you the two ways to catch the ball. So today we're going to be throwing the ball to the wall and trying to catch it off the wall. If your ball is up high in the air, you're going to put your thumbs together when you do your reach. Everybody put your thumbs together. And then you're going to grab and give. Steven. If, if the ball is starting up high, but then it goes low, down below your belly button, you just put your hands down and put your pinkies together. Everybody show me how to catch it low. Pinkies together. Now, if the ball is up high, put your thumbs together. Ball is down low, reach, grab, get, bring it into your body, okay? All right, we have four stations we're gonna work on today. Your challenge at your four stations today is you're gonna have a different ball at each station and you're going to work on throwing it to yourself. Swing, step, throw, reach, grab, give. If you catch it eight times in a row, then you're going to move to the wall. And you're going to do the same thing at the wall. Swing, step, throw, bounce it off the wall, try to catch it off the wall. If you can do that eight times, you go back to the middle, okay? Now, your wow challenge today is to see if at least two out of the four stations, you can get eight in a row to yourself and eight in a row to the wall. It's going to be a hard challenge, so you got to stay focused, okay? Eight in a row to yourself, eight in a row to the wall. Does everybody understand the challenge today? Yes! Okay, everybody say, opposite foot. Opposite foot. Everybody say, swing, step, throw. Swing, step, throw. Now, remember when the music stops, you're going to clean up your station, stay near square, point to the next place. Before you do that, before I put you in stations, I want you to just imagine throw so you can think about how it's going to go. This is called a visualization exercise. Everybody stand up. We're going to visualize the throw. I want you to get your imaginary ball. Get your imaginary ball. And I want you to imagine the three things we talked about. The swing, the step, and the throw. So your arm is nice and straight. Swing it back in slow motion. Step with that opposite foot. Throw. There you go. Now reach. Grab. Good. One more time. Put your feet together. Arm nice and straight. 
Swing, step, throw. Now look down at your foot. Did you step with the opposite foot or the same side? Opposite. Make sure you step with that opposite. I saw some people step with the same. So when you throw it, you should look down at your hand. It should be the opposite side. All right? Nice job, friends. Have a seat. Any questions before we begin? No. Are you ready to throw? Yes. yes. Are you ready to have fun? Yes. Are you ready to do your best? Yes. All right. Point to your next station. Okay, before you move on, let me give you a couple more tips. I still see some people that are doing an overhand throw. The ball should not be over your hand. It needs to be down here low. We're not doing that overhand throw today. Everybody say swing, swing. step, throw. When you let go of the ball, the palm of your hand should be facing where you want it to go. So if you're throwing it to yourself, where should the palm of your hand be facing? Up because you want the ball to go up and then you catch it. If you're throwing it at the wall, when you let go, where should the palm of your hand be facing? Wall. The wall. Towards the wall. So point your hand towards your target that will tell the ball where to go. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, yeah. make sure you step with that opposite foot. Everybody say opposite foot. Opposite. When I say go, please show me how to gallop forward to your next station. Raise your hand, I didn't say go yet. Raise your hand if you know how to gallop. Show me how to gallop. Emma Grace, show me how to gallop. There it is. Nice job, Emma Grace. All right, show me how to gallop to your next station. Go. Swing, step, throw. 